Okay, so we'll start on number one here for the final exam review. And it says determine the following equation is linear. Negative 8x plus 3y plus uh, x in parentheses uh, equals 8. And if the equation is linear, then write it in standard form. So what we want to do with this is try to simplify it and put it in that form, ax plus by equals c. So I'm going to distribute the 3. And then I'm going to solve for x and y. I put x and y on one side, leave the number over there. So 8x and uh, negative 8 and 3 would be a negative 5. Plus 3y equals 8. So the a value is, is negative 5, the b value is 3, and the c value is 8. And this is in standard form. So yes, it is linear. Let's see what the next question is here. Determine the x and y intercepts of the following linear equation. Find the intercepts expressed as ordered pairs. If one intercept does not exist, circle absent. So we want to find the x and y intercepts. And to do that, you plug a 0 in for y to find the x intercept. And you solve. So uh, x plus 3 times 0 equals 6. That goes away x equals 6. So your point, the x-intercept, the x-value is 6, y-value is 0. And for the y-intercept, you do the opposite. You put a 0 in for x to find the y-intercept. So, then 0 plus 3y equals 6. Just plugging it back into the original equation here. Uh, 0 is nothing. Divide by 3. y is equal to 2. So the point, the x value is 0, the y value is 2, and there's your y-intercept. If I want to graph it, I can use those two points, 6, 0, right about there, and 0, 2, right about here, and you just draw your line between the two points there. That's one way you can graph a line. They didn't ask for that, I'm just going to throw that in for you, free of charge. Let's see, step two, graph the following equation. Ah, well, it does do that. My bad. It does ask for that. So you plot those points, 6, 0, and 0, 2, and you draw your line in. There's how you graph it. Plot your points. Graph it. you got two points on the line. How do you graph it? Find the standard form of the equation of the circle with endpoints, the diameter, negative 9, 13, 5, 3. So uh, what you have is, is the diameter of a circle. Uh, uh, let's just draw this quick circle here. So there's the center of the circle, and you got the circle, and then you draw a line. A line that goes through the center is the diameter. So to the standard form of a circle, though, is x minus, I think use h here, y minus k equals r squared. And you look on your reference sheet, and you can find that. And the r is the radius, and h and k is the center. We don't know the center. We just know these endpoints. But the neat thing is that these, mid, these points, the, the middle, would give you the center. And you have two points at the ends. So what we're going to do is find the midpoint. And you average the x values, which would be negative 9 plus 5 divided by 2. And then you average the y values. So that would be 16 over 2, which is 8. So the midpoint is negative 2, 8. That's the center. And this negative 2 goes in with h. And this 8 goes up here with the k. And if it's already minus and you have a minus, well, negative negative makes a positive. So x plus 2 is what I'm going to write. And then plus y minus, so that's part of the formula. And then I put 8 in, squared equals r squared. Now I've got to find the radius. And I don't have any of that with this. So what you do, you could use a distance formula and find how big this, this segment is. But what I'm going to suggest you do is take one of those points, negative 9, 13, or 5, 3, plug it in and solve for r. 
And I believe the easiest one to do would be 5.3. So I'm going to plug in 5.3 here. Okay, when I do that, I can now all I have is R. And you got 7 squared plus negative 5 squared equals R squared. 49 plus 25. So that'd be a 60. Uh, oops. That'd be 74. And that's the R value. That's the R squared value. So you just replace the R squared with the 74. So for so your final answer would be x plus 2 squared plus y minus 8 squared equals 74. The radius isn't 74. R squared is 74. So the radius would be somewhere uh, a little under 8. So the square root of 8, a little bit under 9. Square root of 9 is 81. So if you plug that in the calculator, square root of 74 to give you your give you a radius.